First John. First John. First John. Chapter two. Chapter two. Amen. We dealing with something tonight that is inevitable that we're gonna all face. Amen. We're dealing with uh, rejection. Amen. Amen. We're dealing with rejection. Amen. Amen. Dealing with rejection. Like of being offended. You're going to be offended. Amen. Amen. Jesus said offense is much need is going to happen. And you're going to be offended. And at some point you're going to be rejected. Can I get amen? amen. Or have been. Amen. amen. Been, we've all been affected by it. Amen. amen. And nine times out of ten. If you're going to live. Um, have a relationship with God. And choose to operate. <clears throat> in what you put on this earth to do. You're going to um, face rejection. Amen. 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 You're going to face rejection. Get the, let me get about five amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Read for me, woman of God. Read for me. First John chapter 2 and uh, verse 19. They went out from us. But they were not of They're us. speaking of false prophets, realistically, is what it's speaking of. Amen. 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 But we're deal, still dealing with um, rejection. Amen. Start over and ride. They went out from us, uh -huh. but they were not of us. Mm. For if they had been of us... Now, they, they, they went out from us. Yes. They, they dipped on you. He or she, they left you. Can I get amen? Amen. amen? Look at your neighbor saying, accept it now. Accept it now. They went out from us. Can I get amen? They left, but they gone. Can I get amen? They made a decision, a conscious decision. They no longer wanted to be with you. Be it friendship, whatever kind of relationship it was, they made a decision to depart. Can I get amen? Amen. Start on the ride. Start on the ride. I'm the king of goodbyes, boy. Look here. I'm the king. <laughs> Uh, boy, I get ghosts. I tell you that quick. Get ghosts. Uh, ooh, uh, okay. Even if it hurt, I ain't gonna let you know it. Uh, 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 I'm not gonna let you know it. I'm going to a shell. Uh, uh, I go way across the bridge somewhere for a couple months. I uh, get it together, boy. But you ain't gonna know it. Can I get an amen? Start on a ride. Start on a ride, woman of God. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. If we were meant for that joker to be here, he'll still oh, be here. Amen. Amen. Come on, man. Don't nothing just happen. That's right. So it ain't time to get old now that you done got saved. You're over on the hallelujah side. Now you trying to, should you go back and find Tony? All right, now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if Tony ain't with you now, let Tony be. Amen. Yeah, hello. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. Hey, that joke locked up. <laughs> I, okay, let me. Look. <laughs> it's on you if you want to, you know. I'm just saying. I, it's your freedom. It's time to dip. Yeah, God ain't going to make you dip. Yeah, amen. But you can dip. Yeah. Sit around if you want. Can I get an amen? amen. Just talking about Listen, can I get an amen? amen? Yeah, whatever, 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 whatever's pertinent to your destiny is going to be tied to your life. Yeah. Now, it's some things, if it is, God will bring it back around and God will let God do it. Yeah. Yeah. I always say, man, don't try and fit no circle in no square. Yeah. Yeah. Can, can I get an amen? Yeah. You know if you're trying to make something happen. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know if you, you know, you're kicking against the prick. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get an amen? amen? You know you can ask God for something uh, long enough and he'll give it to you, right? Amen. Amen. He'll put it right in your life. Amen. And it'll have absolutely nothing to do with his will. Amen. It'll be something that he just factored in, but it was nothing to do with his perfect will for your life. You know, and uh, we, we got the Bible to back that up, correct? Amen. Israel, he never intended to give them a king. Amen. No, they begged him for a king, and he put it right in their life. Amen. Can I get amen? amen? You should know at some point when you you praying, you striving against the will of God. Uh -huh. When your will and God's will is striving because you have a desire for something. Amen. Can I get amen? Because he said, if you don't like yourself in the Lord, he'll give you the desires of your heart. Amen. He'll amen. give you what to desire. Because this life that we're living has is, been hidden. Yes. Now that we're living in it, God is revealing to us yes. what he desired for us to walk in. So as we delight ourselves one day at a time, as we continue to walk in obedience, God will release different desires into our heart. And the desire is always going to be first and foremost for us to want more of him. Amen. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. So all we 
always line up with his word. Go ahead, man. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, then. Don't hold on. Try to jump in now. Come on, start on the ride. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. If it was meant to be, it would be. Yes. Everything. That, I always tell my this, man. <clears throat> Where you at right now in God? You, you not, a lot of people uh, are backslidden and they're coming back to God. I always tell you, man, you're not starting from the bottom. You start with experience. Yes, right. you, you, you're coming to God right now with Amen. everything that he's allowed you to survive. Amen. If you're still breathing, it's because he is allowing Amen. blood to run warm Amen. in your veins. Yes, Unto him that is joined to the living, there is hope. Yes, but it's better to be a living dog than a dead lion. Can I get amen? amen. God, you and God uh, know he's the only reason you survive yes, putting all them people to sleep and taking their money. That's right. That's right. Amen. Can I get amen? amen? It wasn't your ability that you were so cunning and crap to put somebody and persuade them. God hands you. Amen. God protected you. That's you weren't right. that slick. It was God. Right. You here by the grace of God. And Paul said, I am what I am by God's grace. Amen. If God didn't grace me, I wouldn't be here. Right. Can I get amen? amen? And stop holding on to people that God has told you to relinquish. Amen. amen. Stop chasing people, man. When people show you who they are, believe them. That's who they are. Amen. 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 For real, for real. In this season, Amen. we ain't got time for that. Amen. Amen. Listen, all we got to do, the Bible say, oh, oh, no man, nothing but love. But the love. That's it. And some people, yeah, yeah, you can yeah. only love from afar. Yeah. So when God revealed to you people true colors, believe it. Yeah. Believe it. Stop being a pain freak. Yeah. Get out your feelings. Amen. Yeah. I put a post up today. Get out your feelings and get into your purpose. Amen. Yeah. So anybody like the scripture say that left ain't supposed to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm talking about friends, spouse, Brothers, amen, amen, sister, amen. the Lord say, who is my brother? Amen, who is my mother? Those that do the work yeah, with me. Amen. 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 I got a lot of siblings, but it's like I'm the only child. I'm the baby, but it's all good. You understand amen. what I'm saying? Because amen. I understand my purpose. Amen. amen. And it's a time, it was a it's a time for everything. Yes. It was time for us to be siblings as a child, but as we grew older, yeah. whatever, you know. Yeah. Everybody go their separate ways, but I believe yeah. that it's somebody that that God intended for me to be in contact with, to be in my life on a daily basis. They will be there Amen. Amen. if they tied to my God given destiny. Amen. 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 Some people, but so we got to stop trying to make everybody our assignment. Amen. Let these Amen. people go, man. Yes. Love them, Amen. but let them go. Amen. When God put his hand on them, because understand this, he said overcome and reject it. They not rejecting you. They rejecting the God that's in you. Amen. 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 And for whatever reason, a lot of times people be mad because they don't, they envy what they don't understand. Amen. 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 And the Bible, the word of God says that he take the foolish things of the world and confound the wise. Amen. Amen. I was the only child that was a powder head. Amen. Amen. I was the only child that was rebelled and ran wild. Amen. Amen. So it's no way that I'm supposed to be right here where I am today. Amen. 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 But God. But God. Amen. Amen. But God. And people don't understand that. Amen. Amen. They don't understand how she say it for real. She be on TikTok dancing. Believe me, they don't understand. So they talk about what they don't understand. Yeah, and they right, reject right, what they don't understand. Yeah, and they right, hate yeah. what they don't understand. Yeah. But how can God use her? Because the reason why what they reject, God chose. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 And when, when, when she say everybody in assignment, that's true. And that, that's the hardest thing for me, you know. But I'm definitely in that season. And that God is, you know, you know, because you, how can I say, because you... I've given them space don't mean you're giving up on nobody. Amen. Amen. It's just, you know, Amen. you know, you know, God ain't gonna sit there and let nobody sift you as weak. When somebody else gonna take that same information Amen. and run with it. Somebody salivating for that time. Amen. Somebody desiring some information and want a good fed and want, you know, what somebody else just pushing to the side and acting like it ain't nothing. So, you know, you gotta trust God because uh, uh, like uh Samuel, uh, God told him, uh, God told him man, why are you still praying for Saul? I rejected him. My yeah. God. Yes. Yes. I need you to go to Jesse's house. I got his replacement right now. Yes. Saul, fine. Don't even know it. Yes. Can I get an amen? Yes. 
you're still on the job and fired. It's a terrible thing. <laughs> he was fired. And he said, right there and watch David get raised up in front of his very eyes. But was fired. For years, he was fired. That's scary. Can I get an amen? But yeah, you're not giving up. Because see, one thing about me, like I say, I ain't, I don't, I, who am I to give up on anybody? But God never gave up on me. But um, in this season, God is definitely, I'm putting, man, I'm watching God, man. Just, man, Jesus. And my, man, I'm so lifted. I'm so mad because I, 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 you know, you carry people problems. The storm must be the infirmities of the week, but, you know, if you really love God and his people, it's hard for you to distinguish between that. Can I get an amen? So, hey, man, I thank God for doing for me what I can't do for myself. God just put a wedge down. Can I get an amen? You're just looking like, man, Jesus, we ain't talking. That's God. That's God. Can I get an amen? But well, read that. Finish, finish, read that right there. Finish reading that right there. We're talking about rejection, y'all. Rejection, y'all. We got to accept that for what it is. Rejection has always been my number one motivation to go forward. Can I get an amen? Because I know who I am. I'm confident in the fact that I'm God's man. So if you rejected me, you rejected God. I know I ain't got no business being here. I'm on assignment right now. So you rejected the Lord. Can I get an amen? Read it, read it, read it, read it, read it. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued. Everything got an expiration date on it, y'all. And they're talking about no milk and no meat. Right now. Amen. <laughs> you know, that's real life. Y'all think about grocery. <laughs> Um, friendships, relationships, got an expiration date on it. Can I get an amen? That's why I tell you, man, listen, man, 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 listen. When I was in Mina Dolph life, listen, I got everything I, that joker I was supposed to get. For some reason, I knew that he had what I needed. When I got to the Harvest Dome in 1996. I bumped into him in the 97, the beginning of the 97, and literally walked with him to where God looked down and said, I don't need two of y'all in one spot. Amen. And God called him to Orlando to go past, and I took over everything at the dome that he was over. Can I get an amen? amen. But I, I knew what I was in his, what he was in my life for. Yes. I had to get out of him what I needed. It wasn't his responsibility to put in my life. That's right. Man, you better hear me. I, I had to get out of him what I needed. Can I, you better read Elijah and Elisha. Y'all gonna read, uh, I think it's uh, King, 1 Kings 19. Somewhere 17, 18, right up in there. To about 7, 2, 2 Kings chapter 7. Somewhere up in there. Go read. Y'all need to read that. And learn about the mantle. Can I get amen? God put you in the man of God's life so that you can receive a mantle for a work that he has for you to do. Y'all, y'all, y'all need to read that. Can I get an amen? amen. Well, read it one more time. You got something? You got something? Read it. Read it one more time. Finish up. We finna finish that. Y'all get something out of there? Amen. Come on. Go ahead. They you know went. <laughs> they went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have. You got Joker sitting around you right now. They ain't supposed to. <laughs> ain't even showed their hand yet. <laughs> ain't even showed their hand yet. And God will bring you to a place of maturity. When they do, you supposed to just accept it. Yeah. You ain't got to jump on Facebook, social media, and go yeah, 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 yeah. Can I get an amen? amen. This, this is some real stuff. God is preparing you right now. Amen. You're held accountable for the information that you're receiving right now. That's right. So when it comes, you don't act in carnality. See, think about God is we're supposed to receive carnality but respond spiritual. That's right. We don't wrestle right. against flesh and blood. Right. You see what I'm saying? We don't, my wrestle not with just the flesh but the spirit. Yeah. But somebody could cuss me out carnally, I'm but I'm supposed to react spiritually. That's right. Yeah. That's it. Amen. Hello? That's it. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and this is real. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I suppose I suppose to take the card about respond spiritually. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's why I say we got to be hearers of the word. I mean, do the word, not hearers only. That's right. So He's giving us this word now. So when I get cussed out, can I get an amen? amen. I suppose to remember this word right. and let this amen. word activate. Right. So I can watch God move. Because right. at some point I got to realize that I'm not supposed to avenge myself. Right. At some point I got to start letting the word work. Right. Look at your neighbor and say the word will work if you work. 
Yeah. 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 Ye
Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. It shouldn't be in you anyway to want to fit in. It shouldn't bother you. If it bothers you, something ain't right. If it bother you, for you to answer the call, mom and them and cousin them talking about you a part of a cult over there in real life. <laughs> Pass on one of those suits. Amen. Y'all be wearing Jordans and polos and jeans and Amen. high down guard. Thank God. Thank God. I ain't here to please them. Amen. Uh, when I was wearing suits, I was on my way to hell. Fifteen hundred dollar crocodile. I got them right down my dad. I would dust on them. Oh, I was walking straight to hell in them. Amen. Full of pride. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? I made a vow when I was smoking all that dope. Why I ain't going to put on another suit? Amen. <laughs> I promise. I said, if you restore me, I won't put another suit on. Because I know what it did when I put it on. Amen. You are trying to buy a new suit every amen. week to go up and die. Well, I'm going to be a guy. Full of pride. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. Want to be seen. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? But I'm saying, though, people going to reject you. If you really answer the call, you surrender. All the all the wrong people hey, gonna reject hey, you, hey, and the right people gonna embrace you. That's why I love that scripture. He said, "I set the lonely in family." Yeah. Just because it's flesh and blood, you got blood. That don't mean that's your family. Hey, hey, I mean, hey, it's just blood family, but you got some strangers that God will join you to hey, some ordained hey, relationships. Hey, Can I get amen? Hey, that will love you, treat you, Amen. accept you, and be there for you. Amen. Come on. Hold your personal business in confidence. Hold your mistakes in confidence. Amen. Like family never would. Yeah. Ordained relationships. Amen. People that you haven't even met yet. Amen. And people that you're learning about right now. Amen. That God, he said, I set the lonely. Yes. I told y'all, it's always going to be a season where God is going to put you in a lonely place. But he wants you to know that you'll never be alone. Amen. But that's a time he Amen. really yes. wants you to draw. It means something to him. Amen. This Amen. is the time to mean. He don't want you dragging nobody over here. Sit your behind down. Amen. So that God can reveal to you who you truly are. Amen. So I can amen. amen. You won't never know who you are until you know who he is. Amen. He got to first reveal himself to you. Amen. Scripture. Who do men say that I am? Yes. That's scripture. Amen. He asked the disciples, who do men say that I am? Yes. Amen. Some say you're lying, some say yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, but who are you saying? Amen. Amen. Peter said, thou art the Christ. Amen. You're the son of the living God. And Jesus said, boy, look here, boy, look here. <laughs> <laughs> boy, you got that thing, boy. He said, flesh and blood ain't revealed that to you, Pete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, the Holy Ghost, boy, you got the Holy Ghost, Peter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, since you got the Holy Ghost and all these jokes around here playing, I'm going to show you, I'm going to reveal to you who you really are. I'm changing your name. Your name, now, your name is Peter. He said, upon this revelation, as long as you know who I am, and as long as I show you who you are, the gates of hell, the will of the devil, will not prevail against what I'm going to do in your life. Upon the revelation. See, because I know who I am. I get amen. I ain't smoking dope no more. I backslid. I walked with God for 10 years and backslid. But the whole time, I knew I'm God's man. I put myself out here. But I know who I am. Amen. Talking to God till 3, 4 in the morning. Amen. Talking to God, my heart about the bus. God, please don't let me die here. Yes, Amen. Amen. Part of my journey. But because he revealed to me who I am. My situation, my body didn't dictate to me. Amen. Can I get an amen? My situation didn't dictate. Stop letting your situation dictate you who you are. Amen. You got to know that you God's woman. Amen. You got to know that you God's man. Amen. I don't care what arrives in your life. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. Amen. And a lot of times they not mad at you, they mad cuz of you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yes. That's Amen. why they really mad, so it's true be told. Yes. Listen, when David went to go fight Goliath, y'all know I'm geeky, y'all know what I'm saying. His <laughs> brothers, his brothers was upset before he much got the victory. They yeah. were trying to um pick on him and say, What you come to bring our lunch? Guess what? 
Because people and the devil already have an inclination of what's on your life. Yeah. Yeah. They already know who you is. Amen. They already know why they feel the giant that they little brother who they was trying to downplay and pick on was going to come and conquer the giant that they feel. They already know and got an inclination. Although you was the problem child and you ran the street, you was the cocaine, you the one that ran away and kept my mom all night. But they already had an inclination that it was on you. Amen. 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 You can see when there's something on your life. Amen. You can see when there's something and they was counting you out. Amen. They never expected you to be where you at right now. And it's not for you to flaunt at. It's not for you to can I get amen. It's not for you to get a prideful heart. You, know, you keep you stay humble. You pray for them. Everything pretty much. That's why I keep telling y'all, man. We all y'all gotta grasp this, man. We're getting to heaven. One situation at a time. I'm never going to stop saying that. One situation at a time. I believe this is my, I speak as a man. I believe when he come back, he's going to search our heart. I believe he's looking at the heart, the intent of our heart. Our soul, our emotions. He's looking, that's why we, that's why in here we're soul saved. Your soul is saved. Can I get an amen? Your subconscious mind is thinking of God. Can I get an amen? Your soul, you are transformed. You made a decision to be changed. You ain't just saying the sinner's prayer. You won't, well, can I get an amen? You're learning of God so that you can see him one day. Can I, am I right? Is it just me? Can I get an amen? But you're making a conscious decision every day, man. One situation at a time. As long as I pass this test, if he cracked the sky right now, right when I got cussed out, and my heart is forgiven, well, I know I'm going to heaven. Amen. That's how I don't micromanage my walk. Because, boy, heaven, that's the most important. I ain't finna play with that. The bumper show by him, I can make sure my bills pay. <laughs> if I can make sure my savings stay at a certain amount, I know I'm going to make sure I'm going to heaven. Amen. So I don't micromanage to the most inkling. I got, can I do, do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. So if I'm, if I'm down to a little, little trial, I know I'm good. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Amen. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to show you something, boy. Look here, I ain't playing with it, not when it comes to heaven. Amen. Boy, I ain't like getting beaten. I'm I, I didn't. I didn't like getting beaten. I, I, no, I didn't. I used to cry my way out of <laughs> I'm serious. I told y'all. I, I, I used to smoke dope, so I used to touch the, the fire. <laughs> you talking me burning forever? Amen. I ain't like burning my thumb. Amen. I ain't like burning my thumb. Amen. Boy, you ain't never had that grill on slide through that pipe like <laughs> But be burning forever. I was trying to tell y'all something about forever. Forever. <laughs> Forever. Forever. A million years have passed. And you still got forever to go. When God gave you all this word. While it was in your power to change. But you chose to hold on to a pleasure that you've done for 30 years. And you started telling God you don't want this pleasure, but you playing with your destiny. Look at your neighbor and say, tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. It ain't the pleasure not going to get more pleasing. Is that going to become more pleasurable? How do we give him that much power? He can't make us do that. So he said, okay, God, since I can't make it, I'm going to trick him. I'm going to trick him. Okay, I can't mess the world up, so I'm going to get them to mess it up. How is this now? And we supposed to be so clever. With all our degrees. With all our accolades. <laughs> Uh, with all our investments and uh, accomplishments, but we have yet to secure our a soul and our emotions. Look at you, never say y'all trying to tighten up. I'm talking about rejection to push you. The enemy want to use this to get you to turn on. He wants you to project it on the God. 
So I love that scripture that says, Blah, blessed is the pure heart, for they yeah. shall see God. Yeah. See, the devil want to cause so much heartache. Yeah. So that when you come to God, you want you to project that on the God. God, why? It ain't God's fault. Amen. Amen. You, you brought all this to the table. Yeah. Amen. Now, I know what I told you about this. You done brought all these issues to God. Talking about save. Come to my life. Save my soul. I'm sorry, Lord. And so, save me. All right, now. Amen. Amen. Now, Monday, you got to deal with all this if you want to go to blaming God. Now, he said all things going to work together for your good. This, he's going to work all this. No education, five kids. Bad credit. Yeah, yeah. Only do it. Only do it. Can I get amen? You on the D level. I've been in prison about five times. God gonna use, he's gonna use, he's, it's gonna work together now. If you allow him to, he's gonna work with you Amen. to do his will, do his pleasure, but you gotta be willing. Amen. You gotta see God. Amen. You gotta see God. You gotta be able to look at God and see this through God and not God through this. Amen. That's why I say let God be mad. God gotta be the magnifying glass that you Amen. see this through. Because if it's vice versa, it ain't gonna work for you. Amen. Amen. He said, in all things, give thanks. So you got to approach this with a grateful heart. All this. With a grateful. God, I thank you that I'm alive to even deal with this now. God, I'm thankful. All these years, God, I'll be around 55 years old. I ain't 55, but I'm saying 55 years old. And get it twisted. I'm 55 years old, Lord. No education. Amen, amen. Yeah, amen. Amen. In an active care facility. Amen. But I'm still here. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. You better not put God in no box, man. Jesus. Come on. God is ready to blow your cotton picking mind. That's one thing. I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know where, but I know he's gonna do it. Amen. That's between amen. you and him. Amen. He wants to, he wants to reach you. That's why I love that scripture says despise. Not the day of small beginnings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And none of us come, none of us here came to God with no million dollar bank account. Amen. Amen. Can I get none of us here came to God? He ain't come like that, y'all. But God said the beginning that you have, it might be small in your eyes. Amen. But it's great to me because you depended on me. Amen. That's what I've been waiting on. It. Just, Amen. just give me a season. I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna pour out blessings, but the number Amen. I want you to want me as a blessing. Amen. Amen. Man, I want you to want me. I want you to adore. I want you to admire me. I want you to acknowledge the fact that I got you here and I'm your everything. See, God is a jealous God. He's not jealous again. I keep telling you, he's not jealous for you. He's jealous. He's not jealous of you. He's jealous for you. He's not jealous to possess you. He's jealous to protect you. He don't want you trusting the devil over him. Can I get an amen? You know, you're not jealous for possession. It's for your protection. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? I want to piggyback on what he said about emotions a long time ago. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't want to negate the fact, y'all, real talk, because it's real life. And obviously, if God put this word in the atmosphere, it's either amen. about to come up, somebody's going to get that. hit with it, uh -huh. or somebody yep. going through it right amen. now. Amen. So we don't want to sugarcoat it like it don't hurt. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It, rejection is a real feeling. Emotions, uh, yes, you know, they feel good. Amen. But rejection does hurt. Yes, and y'all can recall when Joseph was sitting at the table with his brothers before he revealed, he started crying. Revealed to him them who he really was. Yes. He started crying. But I'm saying all that to say, don't let the pain make you a monster. Because yeah. a monster, he could have opened with all the heads. Oh, yeah. He had power to do that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So don't try to revenge yeah. those that reject you. Amen. Don't even yeah. speak evil of them. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But let it make you a leader. Amen. Yeah. Amen. For God can get the glory even more. And that's the route that Joseph yeah. took being rejected by his own very own brother. Yeah. He still let it make him a leader. Amen. Yeah. And, um, you know, for generations, maybe to live because of the choice that he made yeah. even though he you know felt rejection he felt yeah. it he didn't yeah. negate that it hurt yeah. but he stayed focused yeah. on his on, on the assignment amen yeah. and on his purpose yeah. amen yeah. so don't let it make you a monster let it make you a leader amen, amen. amen. it's definitely painful though it's definitely yeah. painful you know but you know one thing about it man god man i always say tears are, are liquid prayers 
Yep. Look with prayers. God got an angel that's bottling up your tears. Mm -hmm. You know, always say, man, pray, man. When you cry, if you cry, you know, pick your faith up and, you know, take out about the God. Amen. But when Amen. if you are crying, cry and talk to God. Amen. I cry, I cry today, I give it to God. God, yeah. I don't like it, God. This thing hurt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't understand it, you know what yeah. I mean? But hey, if you allow it to happen, show me how to eat it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I got to eat it, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. I don't want to deal with this no more. And if I do, I yeah. want to be standing stronger, yeah. having had dealt with it better this time and every time. Yeah. I'm going to deal with it better and better. Can I get amen? Yeah. I need the pain to get less and less. If I'm going to have to walk through this, I want to handle it the right way. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Can I get amen? But yeah, it is pain. It's an ordained pain. Yeah. It's an ordained pain that yeah. God really yeah. desires for us to turn to Him, yeah. to mend yeah. our hearts. Can I get amen? Yeah. But like she said, the main thing is that we got to forgive because uh, what is Romans 12, 19? Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves. Yeah. Say, but rather get place on the wrath. What is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay. I will repay. God deal what he wants vengeance like he like to want his tithe. You don't mess with it. You don't mess with tithe, you don't mess with vengeance. Because while you trying to go out and handle it in your own, first of all, the devil motivating you, you're going backwards. And God, it's not his will that any man perish, but that all come to repentance. So whoever did you wrong, now God done lost both of you. The devil getting a two for Can I get him The Holy Ghost way out the door. And you just took matters and you don't even know how. You're not an Avenger. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a comic movie. That's a movie. And I get an amen. God said, I will avenge you. You know, because when I do it, I'm going to deal with them in mercy. You're dealing with them out of wrath. And the Bible says that the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. That's scripture, y'all. Can I get an amen? He said, but if your enemy hungry, give him something to eat. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. So as you do that, you're putting coals of fire. Well, he, well, with me, it don't with 12 plus 12 equal 5. Yeah, well, God, it don't have to add up for it to make sense. Amen. But 12 and 21, he said, be not overcome with evil, yeah. but overcome yeah. evil with good. Amen. So can I get an amen? amen? Because they choose to not, not understand your value. Amen. Because God has allowed this moment for them to detach and pull away from you. Amen. Because God is allowing a separation to come. Amen. You can't, don't let the enemy come in. And mess up what God got going on. Amen. I keep telling y'all, we just Amen. stay obedient. Every time we step out and get disobedient, a chain of event takes place. Amen. And we derail things that God took so long to put together. Amen. So I'm like, man, just Amen. accept it. Tighten up. Just eat it. Yeah. It's time for them to leave. You don't even understand. I'm going to replace that with five other people that's going to love you and feed you with so much knowledge and so much information. He said, I'll restore the years that the king of worms is eating. He, he's re by him restoring the years, he's not going to take you back to being 14 and 15 years old. But what he's going to do is send people in your life. Can I get an amen with resources that will cut down 15 or 20 years? Can I? This is how he does it. With relationships. Yeah, so he got to get out with the old and come in with the new. Yeah, Can I get amen? amen? You ain't going to make a million dollars hanging around folks that's still making a hundred. Right. You got to change your circle. Yeah. A lot of time, man, look here, a dime smaller than a, a, a nickel, ain't it? Amen. So the tiny circle gets smaller, but it gets more, you know, more valuable. Right. Can I get amen? amen. You good? Y'all good? Yeah. Y'all good? Amen. Huh? Amen. Fifteen? Come on, sir. Look at him. Tell us what's wrong with you. Come on, y'all stand to your feet. He got five.